up, gamers? Welcome to another episode of our Mega Build Let's Play. I am still in a fantastic mood because this morning, um, if y'all guys didn't know, I had a kind of viral Sons of the Forest TikTok video that put me up over 3,000 followers on the TikTok. So this morning, wait, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. We're working on the roof today. Um, yeah. So this morning I went live from my PC onto my TikTok and holy crap, dude, we averaged 300 viewers the whole entire time. It was so freaking cool. I don't know if that's just because they pushed my first live or if that's going to be a consistent thing, but I am going to be streaming every day on TikTok in the morning for at least an hour. Um, it was high energy, dude. Oh my God. I was having to keep up with so many comments, but I think I killed it. I think we did a good job. It was a lot of fun. Um, and I can't believe how successful it was, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> and some of you guys are going to laugh at me for saying honest. Uh, so last night I got a ton of crap on the stream about always saying literally and always saying honest. Because I say it so freaking much, dude. Oh, hold on. Uh, we don't have to worry about it right now at this very moment. We're going to work on the roof today. I got a bunch of clovers, got a bunch of sap. Got a bunch of sticks. We're going to come up here and throw some throw some roofs down, see how far we can get. And uh, hopefully we can get a good chunk done. And tonight on stream, we're actually not going to be streaming Grounded. Uh, we are going to be hosting a somewhat of a smite tournament between Glue Crew members and uh, members of what's called... I just dropped my pallet. That sucks. Uh, Glue Crew members and what is being also called the Chicken Gang, which is hilarious. It's one of my moderators. He works for Chick-fil-A. And somehow he got all of his uh, Chick-fil-A employees together, and they all really like my content. So now they're like the Chicken Gang. They're a big part of, of my stream now. It's absolutely hilarious. But they've been talking a lot of smack about Smite, and I personally have about 7,000 hours in Smite. I haven't played it in a very long time. But I'm going to spend the day kind of prepping up and, and relearning how to play it. And we're going to smash them tonight on stream. It should be a lot of fun. It should be a lot of smack talk and then, uh, you know, a lot of flex. And so if you're a smite player and you see this, uh, hit me up because we need people for the teams. I don't know exactly how we're going to do it. We might have a thousand people that want to play. I have no freaking idea. But uh, either way, make sure you join uh, the Twitch in the description it should be the top link in the description if you want to come join us over on twitch that would be super super cool and super fun um i really feel like i need a different way to get up here bro because uh this this janky staircase is is not the vibe this is the only material i had at the time uh in order to build some sort of how to get up here ramp type thing so we're making it work for now you know it is what it is but um, this is going to allow me, so we're working up there, but I can actually place these pallets down here uh, like that. So that way I can, you know, I don't have to continuously run down there. I can get an extra pallet going here. But yeah, we're working on this roof today. Hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic Saturday afternoon. Um, I know I am, dude. I, I normally um, upload and record this video already, but... I got a wild inkling to go ahead and give the TikTok a try. So if you want to ever watch my TikTok lives, I'm going to try and do them every morning uh, for at least about an hour or so. And, you know, that'll just be in another additional thing to the mega builds. Um, I didn't get really a chance to do a whole lot. I literally spent the whole time chatting with people. It was crazy, man. There were so many people that have never seen this game. And, you know, I, I, I would I love to educate people about things. So... I'm pretty sure I'm responsible for at least 100 new people firing up this game today, which is super cool. Um, everybody seemed very interested. You know, I took them around the yard, showed them the spiders and the bugs and everything, and uh, showed them all my builds. The people that have played Grounded before were jaw-dropped at the size of some of my builds, which is hilarious because that's, you know, that's ultimately the goal is I want people to be like, what in the heck? <laughs> That's the whole reason I do this, is to make people, you know, is to make people ask, like, why the hell is he doing that? But, uh, you know, it's just because I love it. I love everything about this and their community that we're building, and everything is just, everything is going so good that it honestly, at the, at the same time, makes me a little nervous, you know? Like, growing is what I've always wanted as a content creator. I want to grow and get bigger and, and, and excel and, you know, do good things, but at the same time, it's a little bit nerve-wracking i guess uh i don't know if i'm like experiencing some sort of thing that i didn't know i was ever going to experience right now uh but yeah 
it's it's got me a little bit frazzled, I guess, but in a good way, not in a bad way. I'm just hoping I can handle the the growth at this point because it's happening. It's happening, man. It's happening. Got a ton of people from the TikTok Live to come over and subscribe to my YouTube as well as my Twitch. I got like 20 or 30 Twitch followers from it, which is an insane amount of numbers. Uh, but yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't believe all this is happening to me right now. It's it's like a dream come true, but at the same time, it's a little bit scary. But I think we'll be fine. I think we'll make it. We'll manage. Um, you know, one of the one of the big things that I enjoy the most, and you guys that I always comment on my videos know this. And I literally just knew that I ran out of sap, and here I am up here on this roof with no sap. That sucks. Um, I'm going to throw all this down here, throw on this, like, little piece of dandelion I have left, and hopefully um, that's enough to make it to where I won't die. It's literally broken at this point, though. I need to just try and, like... Did it break? No, it didn't break yet. What the heck? I'm going to jump off here and see if I can get this dandelion to go, because it's... There we go. All right, cool. All right, cool. Now that that's out of the way, um, we're going to throw this back on, and I'm going to grab more sap here. There we go. More sap, more clovers. Um, I do have 17 brought bursts, too. If I end up running out of clovers, we can go get some more, but I don't think I think we'll have enough for this episode, at least. Um, trying to. I had, I had 1,200 clovers, which is an insane amount. Holy crap. Oh, you know what? I could grab a whole other handful. What am I doing? Could grab another handful here. But yeah, man, things are things are going great. Still on my weight loss journey today. Uh, today was cheat day, though. Saturdays is my cheat day. Last week, I ate two slices of pizza for my cheat day. And today, I ate a Baconator. No fries, no beverage, no nothing, just a Baconator. Obviously, it's obviously it's the complete opposite spectrum of all the healthy things I've been eating. And to be really frank with you here i i didn't enjoy it as much as i thought i was going to but still no soda still killing it on the on the diet front um probably this monday i'm actually gonna start working out again on top of everything else but we've lost up to uh i think 24 pounds now i think is what we're down so that's pretty insane and this does not go there we're gonna lose a little bit of stuff there but that's fine uh-huh just like this all right so this is where our peak's gonna end up which is kind of silly you know it's not totally the middle of the tree but eh, whatever you know whatever whatever let's uh now we get to do the fun part which is the diagonals here um we just got to get two of each place down and then we're going to be good to go so let's get that down Go ahead and place that one, and then we'll do the interior roof part here. All right, now we just go up, and we'll go this way. Maybe a couple. The 45s, dude. The game does not like working with these, <coughs> with this angle. That's for sure. There's always there's so many issues with with uh, the way that these angles work. Sometimes I can get in a sweet spot like I am now where where they're actually working, but the majority of the time they're a pain in the butt. All right, there we go. Yeah, I was I was in there advertising the crap out of Xbox Game Pass. Like, oh my god, I was selling my soul off, and I don't even get anything out of that other than just you know getting people into the game, which is my ultimate goal. Really, I just want people to play this game because it's an amazing game. It is amazing, and people need to know. Just like Liver King says, right? They need to know. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know, dude. Freaking Liver King. Primals need to know. Yeah, I respect that guy. To be honest, after going through all the crap that he went through, I mean, he is a liar and everything, but. At the end of the day, dealing with that and being able to maintain his content um, after all the crap he went through and actually being able to, you know, quit doing steroids and all that stuff is, is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. And at this point, it's been like months since all that stuff happened, so I think he's recovering pretty well. 
but I would uh, I would assume that steroids is probably pretty tough to quit doing. Just because one, you know, you're obsessed when you're on steroids and stuff, you're probably obsessed with the way that you look. You're obsessed with the way that you feel. You feel probably like some sort of monster or machine and you're just unstoppable. And then quitting doing that. Uh, I couldn't imagine, man. I could not imagine going through that. So kudos to that guy. Kudos to that guy. I think it's funny, though, how he kind of looks like a really buff Tim Allen. Like, <laughs> he does kind of look like a really buff Tim Allen, like Jumanji style. Jumanji style. Wait. Hold on. Jumanji's Robin Williams. Maybe he's like a Tim Allen mixed with Robin Williams. Y'all are going to give me so much shit for that. I already know. I already know, man. Y'all are predictable. I know exactly what the comments are going to be every time, every freaking video I upload to. I know, I know exactly what the comments are going to be every time. It's like, oh, see through said literally 215 times, and he said honestly 337 times. Noted. Calculating. Calculating. I had mods betting on my how many times I had said it last night. It was pretty funny. You know, we're actually... We're actually kind of knocking this roof out really quick. I didn't think it was going to be this quick of a process. I mean, the walls are obviously going to take forever. I think I'm just obsessed with words that end in L-Y. Because I say obviously, literally, honestly. What else do I say? Supposedly. I like the Lees. I'm obsessed with the Lee words, I, I guess. I, <laughs> I have some more that sort of... Odd obsession with the L-Y words. All right, so that is it. I'm going to try and break that. That's like a bad habit, honestly. Oh, I'm dead, dude. No, I live. We're fine. But that hurt really bad at the same time. Uh, let's see here. We've only got two sap in these. we got three and four. Oh, no, I'm only getting one apiece out of these. At some point, I stopped collecting here, and I don't remember exactly where it was, but... I need lots of sap, so we are going to go from left to right here and recollect our sap. We still got plenty of sticks and plenty of clovers. And I did just recently on that TikTok live went and farmed my uh, charcoal, but I do need to go get some rust too. So if we still got enough time, we're going to go get some rust. But if you're still watching this video up to this point right now, you know what time it is. It is time for the secret word that I want you to hide in the comments and that secret word is going to be um spike that's our secret word today spike hide it down in the comments let me know if you watched the video up to this point then you are a freaking champion and i love you long time thank you for your support and uh bear with me here as we continue to grow and i try and figure out uh how much of a fan of that that i actually am uh, da, 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 da. I think it's going to be pretty hard, but actually I might be overthinking it. I do not know. I do not know. I had to eat the bomb last night. For those of you that didn't see the video I uploaded, I did an edit from uh, from the stream clips last night of me eating this stuff. So f make sure you go check out that video. Uh, it should be at the top of my page. It's not in any specific playlist or anything. Cause, uh, or maybe it is, because I think I called it mail time. Yeah, I think I called it mail time, and I'm going to start uh, every Friday. You know, whoever sends me mail, I check my P.O. box on Friday. If you ever want to send me anything, man, or any kind of hot sauces, I collect hot sauces. I collect survival items. Like, um, I also have a wish list. If you ever want the link to the wish list, you can just come over to my stream. Matter of fact, I might actually put the link to my wish list in the, in the description of my videos here. So maybe I should do that. I mean, I guess I'd, you know. There's a lot of expensive stuff on there that I don't expect anybody to buy. Uh, stream upgrades and things like that, but they're more or less on there just for... What the? Oh, I didn't grab clovers, dude. Well, at least we... I guess we just... <gasps> Ooh! I guess we just did another uh, stick run for whatever reason. I could have swore it just popped up and said that I had clovers. Maybe it was trying to grab them out of the chest down low or something. Do -do -do. It's time to sleep. It's time to sleep. Don't fall down. Do not hurt yourself. 
Um, hmm. Should I fall down? Actually, no. I was about to say, I don't think I have my spawn set over here. I was like, I might just, like, off myself. Oh, my... Okay, it was set over here. All right, we got ten minutes. Ten minutes and counting. I do believe I'm out of rust. Am I out of rust to make more ash cement? I've got 51 coal ash, which is pretty good. I've collected it twice and haven't uh, went further than this. Okay, so I need rust and clay. So if we got enough time, once I run out of materials here, which doesn't look like sticks are going to be a problem, it's probably going to be clovers that I end up running out of, which I do need to grab before I forget. Okay, there's our clovers. Can we sleep now? Yes, we can. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go, dude. We'll try and pack as much more as we can up there on the roof. And like I said, if we get done in time, we're going to go get some clovers or some clay and some rust. And I don't know if we'll have time to get rust, but maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Because rust, I go to the... I don't know where you guys go for rust. Let me know in the comments where you where you guys like go farm for rust. But uh, the 2 by 4 down there in my town has... You know, a decent a decent amount, not not a crazy amount, but if you want an absolutely insane amount of rust, dude, go to the red toolbox in the upper yard. Holy crap, there's like there's like fifty rusty nails over there. Just bring your hammer with you and just go crazy. Just go crazy. Alright, we're gonna set that down there and now we can continue and complete the rest of this little area here. There's not a whole lot that goes into this little spot. But we're gonna knock it out. After this video, I'm going to go record another episode of our Sons of the Forest playthrough. And I'm going to try and keep up with that as well as keep up with this, you know. I think I think Sons of the Forest is a super fun game. I don't know if I'll ever stream it again. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to think I'm going to go record another Sons of the Forest episode. Make sure I get that out there. I'm going to try and stay as consistent as I can with everything. Uh, I've been looking for another game to start a subsequent series. I don't know if that's the right word. I'm trying to widen my vocabulary a little bit here you know what i'm saying uh to create more or less another series that i can record alongside of this one to you know just just because right, there's that one and that one and one more here and one more there okay cool so we've brought those together now we can grab this and maybe even take this with us over to this side. It's not going to let us snap to the angles, but if I just so happen to... Um, okay, it would let us snap there if I, if I had this piece there, but I do not, so we'll just make that work. I'm going to bring this around town. Bring it around town. I'm going to run out of sap first, maybe. I don't know. I got 140, so. Da, da, da. And I promise you very soon when I get a chance, I will make a video for this uh, key binding. And I believe there's a way to set it up for controller as well as keyboard and mouse. I know how to do the keyboard and mouse, but I've got some controller guys that said that they can do it pretty quick right now too which is you know not necessarily cheating in my opinion but just an additional tool provided by your computer to help you uh you know build a little bit faster because i don't know about y'all but my fingers hurt from how many times i've been smashing the e and the q on my on my keyboard oh my god dude and i actually had to get a new keyboard i did just get a new keyboard by the way same keyboard i had previously rock hat i love the rock hat keyboards they're like stainless steel aluminum Super, super, f super good. But uh, the one I had previously did not have the 10 key on the side, where, like with the numbers on the side of the D-pad. Um, so I ended up getting this one. I'm guessing that we just can't do this over here. Okay, whatever. This game is so judgmental as far as like what it lets you do and won't let you do. <laughs> I had so many issues last night building the ant trap. If you didn't get a chance to check it out, I'll re be revisiting that tomorrow. I'm going to try to have... I'm going to try to have multiple projects going at, at one time on this uh, series here so that we're always kind of working on something different and it's always like something fresh and new uh, each time, you know, you pull up the video. I'm in a happy place today. I'm not, I'm not like 10,000% happy and I'm not like 10,000% boring. I'm just kind of in this like mellow headspace. And I think this is where I like to be. 
I like to be here the most. Where I'm super happy, but I'm not like super stoked. <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. I'm still in shock from that TikTok live stream. I could not believe 10,000 people were there. Absolutely nuts. And obviously my um, ability to engage with so many people that are chatting and stuff, it's not an easy task to do, but I kind of showed off that my ability there to do that on TikTok Live, and I think that might be what, uh, what brought in so much attention is because I was just blabbering the whole time. My mouth hurt by the time I was done. Okay, so we've got a now huge chunk of this. Apparently I missed a spot. Oh, there's that one stick. I got one stick and I got one spot to fix, so that looks perfect. Perfect. Okay, so that goes up there. We're bringing this all the way up this side. Slowly but surely getting her done. Uh, we've got like one, two, three, pretty much four with those lower angles there. Oh, this is looking kind of cool. I'm liking it. It's really big, too. It's so much bigger than my pyramid, I think. So much bigger than my pyramid. It's funny that the pyramid started out as a mega build. Technically, the the wall started out as a mega build, and then it turned into the town that turned into the pyramid that turned into that thing that turned into this thing. So, yeah. Cool. All right, I need food, and I need water, and I need clay. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I have clay at the little ant farm thing that we're also working on as well, so maybe I'll run over there real fast and at least just show you guys uh, what it's doing and explain it to you and then grab the clay out of, out of holding and also try and find some food and water on the way here. Hello, birdie. Scare me like that, birdie. Usually there's always weevils over here by the baseball, usually. I don't see any though, but I can eat these. At least get my food back up and going. Oh, I hear him. Where is he? I can't hear him over the stupid bird. Shut up, bird. Hmm. No Abels or Weefids anywhere? I guess not. Okay, let's get the sip. I need the sip drip right here. Where's it at? This one? Okay, there's that one. Here's another one right here. Let's get topped off. Okay, we're topped off now, and we're going to get some clay, and because we need that for our, for our ash thing. Okay, but more or less what I'm going to show you guys real quick is this is our ant platform uh, that we made. Thank you. And this is going to eventually turn into some sort of house. It's it's still in the early stages of development right now. But as you've seen, that ant just died. And more or less what we've got over here is... Um, so for those of you that don't know how ant eggs work, I'll explain it real quick. Uh, you kill a bunch of ants, then ants, then ant eggs spawn in the ant hill. Now, my thought process is if I can set up some sort of machine or something that will kill the ants for me while I'm not here or while I'm here or whatever... Um, which is this thing, then um, I don't have to worry about killing them, and I can come over here at any time I want to and come get eggs. So I'm going to put on my torch real quick, and we're going to run through here and see if we got any eggs first off and see if this is actually working or not. Even if we have, like, one or two eggs in the lobby area here, then that's, uh, then that's pretty good. So, it looks like all these guys just hatched, so I might be a little bit late. Yeah, it looks like all these dudes just hatched, so I'm going to leave them be. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take out as many as I can here. Since I'm here, I might as well agitate the process a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab these because I'm building a insanely huge shrine of dead bodies of ants. Excuse me, people. Okay, now let me out of here, please. Ow, he just broke something. What'd you just break? Okay. Chill, bro. Oh, my F aphid slippers. They're just, they're everywhere. Everywhere. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. 
Uh, let's fix my aphid slippers, please. Repair, yes, thank you. Always carry repair glue on you for that very reason. So yeah, old, it might not work the best in the world and you could maybe like make like five or six of these modules out here uh, to make it a little bit more effective. But ulti ultimately what's happening here is we've got food where they can't reach it, but they think they can reach it. So they try and walk into the spike walls down there. Um, these guys are a little not so much, so they're still, this isn't the final product, right? Like, this is just what we ended up coming up with last night on stream. Um, but this allows me to get over here in the event that they might eat some of this food off of the jerky racks. We use jerky racks instead of roasting spits, uh, because, oops, okay, well, he tried to get up there. Uh, but the roasting spits, the food eventually spoils after a couple days being on the roasting spits, so we couldn't do that. We then tried the lure traps, and the lure traps were complete garbage. They do not work at all. Um, somebody said in the comments they think it only works for bees, which might be the case. But, uh, yeah. If I can figure out how to kill these guys that are just kind of lurking, then that would be super sick. But I really don't know if there is any way. They just have to walk up to it and actually take damage. But these traps will eventually break, you know, so that's going to happen. There's nothing we can do about that, but the health on these new splinter traps is actually pretty good, so I'm not too concerned about it. Do I have more? Oh, look at that, dude. And in, in the process, I ended up getting more ash out of this, so I'm super happy with that. But, okay, we've got... Uh, I showed that off to you guys. Uh, we don't have any rust yet or any clay, so I'm going to try and grab some rust and clay real quick. we got a couple minutes left in the video. If you've made it this far into the video... You are a super mega champion, dude, and you deserve, like, a cookie and a hug or something. Um, let's go ahead and come up with another word, then. Let's use rake as our as our second word. So if you've watched it up to this far, which I'm sure most of you have, because a lot of you do watch these videos all the way through, rake is the word for this one. We're rake. Let's get the rust off of the 2x4 and grab some clay up, and then we'll be good to go for... The next piece, maybe something cool will happen before we get done with the video here. Maybe something cool will happen. All right, there's some rust. For those of you that might have not knew where they get the rust from, this is where you get rust from. Which can be used to analyze, unlock the rusty spear. One of the best freaking weapons in the game, bro. My opinion, the rusty spear is definitely S tier weapon. S tier. I wonder if I should do a tier list for weapons. I've seen Paralyzer do that a couple weeks ago. Paralyzer's cool people. He cool people. All right, let's see here. Let's put on our crazy fast clay harvesting build, which is just going to be Rock Cracker. Rock Cracker. So we can one hit the clay. And let's go get some clay because we need it for our. What is the thing we need it for? I already forgot. Okay, I'm going brain dead. Maybe I should take a break. I was going to take a nap. Because <clears throat> I made like a bunch of TikToks this morning, like little short form TikTok things, uploading them to YouTube and all that good stuff. And then I did the stream, and now I'm doing this. And, and then I'll do a three hour stream tonight. And then, Jesus Christ, dude, content creation is a full time gig. I should start making memes too. <laughs> I don't know. I want to start making some stuff for Instagram because Instagram is really important for recognition for brands and stuff. If you want to get sponsorships, most of the time people don't even really look at you if you don't have any sort of Instagram following. I don't know why that is. I feel like Instagram is dead, but I do have a Facebook following, but not an Instagram following. But with the way that that TikTok Live went today, man, Jesus. Talk about recognition. I don't think... I've Obviously, I don't think there's a lot of people that are actually streaming from their PC to TikTok, which looks really good, especially in that whole, like, 16 by 9 aspect ratio or whatever. I am rambling on. I do that sometimes. Hey, I need you. <clears throat> I need you. Oh, by the way, last night was movie night, and we watched uh, after my stream... We watched Honey, I Shrunk the Kids from 11 to like, well, I don't even know. It was like 12.30, 11 to 12.30. Oh, my God, dude. It's been 20-something years since I've seen that movie, and we were making all the, all the correlations between, you know, 
grounded and honey i shrunk the kids and it was pretty fun it was pretty fun trying to put all the pieces together bounce 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 all right well i think i'm just gonna finish up harvesting this clay i'm gonna go take a nap or something <laughs> and <clears throat> get back to work after that maybe just sit on the couch and relax for a little bit but you guys have an absolutely wonderful day and don't forget to like this video for me as that helps me out but you guys already knew that you guys already liked it at this point because y'all are the best hashtag glue crew let's go baby i'll talk to y'all later man have a good day and i'll see you tonight bye